Hello, Sagittarius. It's a reading for the Sagittarius people. So this reading could resonate with anyone who has um, Sagittarius strongly in their charts. My beautiful friends, welcome to this space. It's wonderful to have you here. I'm excited about this reading. It will be a free form reading is what I'm calling it. We're looking at the next immediate frame of time, the next seven days, the next 14 days, something like that. Um, time is different for everybody and we all move at different speeds, but I am looking at the next immediate time frame. Um, so that's the plan. I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Let's start, Sagittarius. The energy is good, I, I feel, with, with you here. It feels good. It feels, it feels strong. Starting off with the Knight of Swords, or the King of Swords. The King of Swords is here. The Chariot energy is here, so strong energy. Let's see what continues to come out here for you. Then we'll dig into these energies and see what these mean. See if this can give us any kind of an idea of how this will continue forward into the next couple of weeks here. Two of Swords. <clears throat> Knight of Swords. All right, so a lot of movement here. Now you could have... You could have someone coming towards you here, Sagittarius. There could be a situation where two people are um, really coming forward towards each other and, and finding the truth of a relationship or um, of a situation. So it looks like there could be something about revealing the truth or adding a, a, a new level of transparency to something or um, meeting in the middle. Meeting There could be a meeting in the middle kind of an energy here, finding a resolution. Um could be a resolution finding type of energy. Uh, let's go ahead and start in now, Sagittarius. You have the King of Swords here. Now, the King of Swords is a masculine energy. It doesn't mean that you have to be a male to be in this energy, but it does mean that you are looking at the big picture of something and making decisions that will help you to be successful in whatever this situation is. Um, there is a focus now on the clarity of a situation, so seeing the truth of it getting all the facts about it, digging deeper into the situation, um, researching it, d doing a fact check, like d really looking to see, okay, is this, is this a truth or is this a falsity? Is this an exaggeration? Is this um, a bias? So it's, it's getting to the bottom of something that's going to give you clarity. So it's, it's like a fact finding mission. So you're in, you are in action in a fact-finding kind of mission because ultimately there's a decision to be made because we do have the two of swords. So there's a decision to be made. There's a truth to be realized. There's something here that has to come out into the open. There's something here that has to come out into the open. And it could involve two different people or two different energies. So you could have two different groups of people working together um, you could have two people, maybe co-workers, um, <clears throat> finding a, a compromise on something or coming together on something or merging their efforts together. You could have two people that are married or that are partnered in some way, uh, finding a solution to something. So there's two energies. See, there's two energies here that, let me get these straight for you. There's two energies that are coming towards one another. And ultimately, there's a decision here that needs to be made. All right, tell us more about the, what the King of Swords is saying. What is the King of Swords? So this is a free form. This is what I do, and I just dig deeper. All right, what is the King of Swords saying now? All right, the Ace of Cups is here. So there's is there love on the table? Let's get, let's, is there love on the table? It's kind of a pun, isn't it? Is there love on the table? And the Fool, damn. Sagittarius. <laughs> All right, so there's there's some sort of decision. There's some sort of truth here that's being being determined. Something that has brought a, a feeling of love and inspiration into the mix, and it doesn't have to be romantic love. It can be a love for a people. It can be love for um, a community. It could be love for 
it, it, it could be, you know, love is a big word and it really filters over almost any kind of, of relationship that we have, whether it's relationship with the earth, relationship with our country, relationship with our family, relationship with a lover. Um, but it does have something to do with love. It can even be the relationship with ourselves, right? And really trying to find the truth of a situation. Um, <clears throat> I think that this is between two people or two different energies, two different communities or two different groups of people or between two people. Um, I think it is about love. It could be about romantic love. Um, it could be about love for a community or love for a company or something like that. But it is love and it is something that's bursting out. It's something that's showing itself, coming forward as something new or something revitalized or something uber powerful. There's a new, is like a fireworks of it. There's some you know, there's a volcano of it. There's something springing forward. Else this Ace of Cups wouldn't be here. It wouldn't be the Knight of Cups, right? This is the Ace of Cups, some kind of bursting out of some kind of energy. Um, and then we then we have the Fool. So this is something new. That's what I mean. This is like something new. And it, there could be a reason here why these two these two energies are, are really uh, focusing in on, on finding the truth of this, because this is something new that you haven't done before. Maybe neither one of you have, have done before. Maybe this is a, a brand new situation. This is a brand new experience for both people or for both groups of people. And there could be a lot of nervousness. There could be a lot of um, really trying to figure out, okay, how is this going to work? How is this going to all come together? Because none of us have done this before. I haven't done it. And this other person hasn't done it. And we know that we feel this inspiration for it. We know that we feel within our hearts that we have to move forward. It's something that's going to bring us a lot of emotional, emotional fulfillment and emotional happiness. And we know that it's something that um, we are being led to do, but it's something we haven't done before. And, and we feel nervous about this and feel apprehensive and, and excited and wobbly and not sure of anything, right? What's cool about these two energies as there is a fast and furious pace to connect because we have the chariot energy, which is a very fast and forward moving balanced energy. And then we have the knight of swords, which is this booming energy that's coming forward very quickly. And look how they're meeting in the middle here um, with this two of swords. So there is a decision to be made. Ultimately, with the King of Swords, there is a need to find the big picture, to see the overarching goal, or to see the big picture of this situation, and make important decisions that will be long-lasting, um, helpful in the long run, that will set the situation for success in the future. It's the King of Swords, so it's very logical. It's very rational. Uh, it's very forward-thinking and um, even though this is about love and inspiration, there's still a lot of logic and practicality here. And even though that, and, and probably because it's something new and something that's, um, it's either, it's, it's teetering on the edge of success or it's teetering on the edge of, bum, ba, da, bum, you know, whatever that, I don't know where the energy goes out of it. I know that sound wasn't right, and I don't know why I had to make that sound, because I feel dumb now, because I made that kind of a sound. But that's the kind where it has a lot of energy and then kind of bleh, kind of fades away. So this King of Swords, there, there is a, a lot of um, desire here to, to make the right decisions about this, whatever this is. So let's dig deeper. Let's go ahead and move these energies over here. This King of Swords now is trying to figure something out about this love and this new journey. So let's dig deeper into this love and see what we can find here. It also could be inspiration. It could be self-love, self-care, compassion, kindness, love. You know, it, it's it's really could mean so many different things. You'll know how if you're resonating with this, you'll know how this really fits with you. And this energy is really strong. I mean, 10 minutes ago before I started this reading, I was in a very calm place and I was ready and I was... You know, I kind of prepare before I do my readings and, and I was sitting here and I even did a, um, a, a short meditation or a short prayer before I started. And now look at me, like I'm in a totally different energy here. So this is very passionate, it's very lively type of energy. <clears throat> Tell me more about this Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups too, the, there's a decision <laughs> of what to do about this. What to do about this, what's the game plan? It's a big surprise too. So something about this is is creating a big surprise. It's it's a twist. Um, it's it's a, something that comes in and creates a need for a quick strategy change. Like um, 
it, it's just there, there's something that's that's come in that was unplanned. It was unplanned, but I don't think it's unwelcome. I think it's very welcome. This this new love and this fool energy is a welcome energy, but it was unplanned. It it could have been a crisis, or there could have been some type of situation that was a huge surprise, and it could have been catastrophic. Um, whatever it was, there is a there is a an action plan that needs to be decided on here. Um, but there is new inspiration and new love. So it's so it's there, it's like a big twisting energy. It's a twisting energy, Sagittarius. I don't really know how else to say it. It's a twisting energy. All right, tell us more. Okay, let's find out more about this tower. Just a little bit more about this tower here. Emperor. Something about control. A system of control. Guidelines. The overall process. What does the emperor do? The emperor creates systems and guidelines and and um, processes that continually create success and abundance. So that's what the emperor does. Could have been a situation here with um, with a father or with a husband or with a partner of some kind, um, with a boss that came in and created a major surprise here for you, a major crisis. Um, the emperor, when the emperor, when, what happens to the emperor when there's a tower? The emperor doesn't deal well with towers. He likes everything to be in order. He doesn't deal very well. But again, this the, the, the energy of love is here. So there's love now that's coming into this situation. Um, what does the emperor, what, where is the energy? Tell me more about the energy of the emperor. Tell me more about the energy of the emperor. There, there's a partnership here of some kind. Tell me more about the energy of the emperor. And I'm not going to go any deeper than this, I don't think. Three of swords kind of came out and flipped over. So I think this caused the energy of discipline and control and guidelines and systems and uh, the larger the larger picture of the economy even with the emperor. Um and it doesn't even have to be an economy of a, of a city. It can be an economy of a family or an economy of a business. Um, there has been some anguish here, some pain here, maybe anxiety here. Um, but, but there is an energy of love and inspiration here as well. So it is very interesting. There's a lot of emotion here. There, there's a lot of a mix of different energies. We have passion and dedication. We have love. We have um, new um, new adventure kind of an energy we have c catastrophe we have anxiety we have discipline we have love so we have lots of different energies and elements that are coming together into one time frame for Sagittarius um, so it's quite interesting let's go back out now and, and remember that we have this king of swords energy this is where we started we have this king of swords energy here this is a this is either a person a judge or it's it's you Sagittarius perhaps or perhaps the energy that goes around this whole situation of finding the truth of something gathering the truth um, seeing the big picture making a decision and when, it, when you go into this um, where, where people are coming together here to, to find a solution with the two of swords um, it does seem like there's new love or new inspiration here that's something new something new that's very vulnerable and and exciting and and, and twisting and turning kind of energy. That's exciting. That's really is exciting. So that's what we have under the King of Swords. Now we do have this chariot energy. This is a cancer energy. It is, it does talk about um, a situation moving forward in a, in a very steady way, a steady forward moving energy. Um, it is balanced with, with a, a healthy dose of the feminine energy and a healthy dose of masculine. That help, that means that this person here that's moving forward towards this middle point has the belief system, has the, <clears throat> has the internal desire for this, has the heart center that is full and, and, and moving forward because there's a desire in this, there's a belief in this. 
Um, there is a, a, a willingness to sacrifice something for this um, with the yin energy. And then you look at the yang energy where there is um, a desire now to move forward and take action and get going with this. So both the masculine and the feminine within this, within this person or within this energy, they're both balanced and they're both moving forward in the same time um, to, to, to make this, to, to make this happen in some way. So there's one person moving forward. And I think this person is optimistic about this and um, is excited about this. And I do think there's an ease here. There's an ease with this person. There's like a natural ability that this person has um, to do this. You see how they're holding the reins with one hand. I mean, it's hard to, to hold, to control horses and it's hard um, to control horses with a carriage and to hold the reins with one hand while holding a flower with the other hand and feeling the energy. I mean, if you can think of this as like the sun here, feeling the energy that comes out of it and still staying balanced. In addition, this is talking about the person here being balanced and being able to um, handle um, the different energies that are around him or her and staying stable on the seat or staying stable on his or her feet as well. So this person is moving forward with a lot of balance. And I think within them, the feminine and the masculine are very balanced. That means that they're, they're not going to be, they're going to be steady. So from day to day, they're going to be continuing forward. They're not going to be wiffle waffling on whether they want to do this or not, or how they should do it or when they should do it. They are moving forward now very steadily, very consistently, and they will arrive. Um, now we have this Knight of Swords. Now this Knight of Swords has some urgency. So this other energy here that's meeting in the middle has some urgency. There is something that this energy is wanting to say. This energy, um, it, it has also been, um, or this person or this energy has also been very connected in with transparency, with truth, with with um, the thought system and a mindset and having ideas and, and coming up with a plan. That's what the Knight of Swords does. Um, the Knight of Swords moves forward and expresses ideas, expresses belief systems, and has some kind of communication to bring forward. Um, could be a um, a Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius. We also have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. So there could be someone here, Sagittarius, who is an air sign or has qualities of an air sign because it is prevalent here. So these two energies are moving closer and closer together. Um, let's see here. Um, what should, I'm being pulled to the Knight of Swords. Let's see here with the Knight of Swords. Let's dig deeper into the Knight of Swords energy. Tell us more about the Knight of Swords. Three of Cups, wanting to have a union, wanting to blend, um, wanting to connect, um, having something here that, um, that, that there is an emotional pull towards that's wanting to be, wanting to be created and then celebrated. Um, yeah, six of swords. So now there's an idea here. So there's somebody here with a plan. Somebody is coming forward with some kind of a plan. And I think the goal is here is to, um, to, to merge or to connect or to find a solution and move forward in a much more efficient and smooth and flowing way. That's what the Six of Swords energy does. It it helps you form a plan or helps you come up with an idea. And this plan or these ideas or these strategies help to um, fit, make something more efficient as it moves forward. It's an energy of moving forward. And something here is very, there's something very emotional about this. So this is a reunion energy, a coming together kind of energy, um, a celebration and joy energy. So this could be friends coming together. This could be lovers coming together. This could be two businesses um, moving towards each other to solve something together or to you know, two towns or two countries coming together to solve something for one another or to make a decision about something. Because there's definitely here with the Two of Swords, something to be decided, something to be realized, a truth needs to be decided on. So it's not only about clarity and, and finding a plan and creating a strategy. There's something here that is, um, that pulls at the heart. It's something here that 
it's it's almost like the fire energy Sagittarius where you can't really stop yourself. You feel so much passion to do something. So you move forward, even though you might have fear, you move through the fear. There's this is something, but it's a more heart energy where there's something that just calls to you. It calls to your heart. It it does something to to the heart of you. And whatever this is that you're coming together to do or to talk about or decide about, it's something that um makes you feel happy or it's hurt your heart or it affects the heart center in some way and it creates a need to pull the energies together because there's something here with the three of cups that's being developed that's a very heart-centered thing um, where there is a basket of compassion and kindness and love and togetherness and celebration that is wrapped around this whatever this is there's a bracket or there's a basket or there is a um, a, a hug that's going around this energy that is warm and kind and heartfelt and compassionate. And it's, it's something that, ha that is permeated with love with the three of cups. So this person is moving forward here with some kind of a strategy, with some kind of a plan. Um, let's dig, dig deeper into the chariot now and see what this other chariot person is doing. And in Sagittarius, I think, you know, you'll have to kind of figure out who you are. I think you're probably the king of swords and I think you're probably the chariot, but you could also be the knight of swords. So it's kind of up to you on, on how to place these energies in your story. Tell me more about the chariot. There is a partner here with the two of cups, a heart to heart connection. Um, it doesn't have to be lovers, but it has, it, it is an energy that signifies two energies, having a heart to heart connection, something that inspires you, that warms your heart, that fills you with love in the same way for the same topic, right? It's, it's a partner type energy that has to do with heart centeredness. Um, again, this is a, this is a cup, this is an emotional energy and this is an emotional energy. Ace of Wands, there's passion here, there is new action, there is excitement, there is a desire to move forward here, a desire to move forward. And if you can feel the energy that's in my voice, and you probably, it's coming out of everywhere in me, it's just exuding energy um, and passion and and um, intensity, there's an intensity here. So there's this person that's coming forward with the chariot energy feels a strong desire to take action in some way, um, whether it's in a new relationship or something new that's being done or something that's being said or a solution that's being come up with. There is, there is a great desire to move forward. It's, it's like it can't be stopped. And it's something that's heart centered as well. So it's a real powerful energy and it's, it's really kind of what I'm feeling here. Um, let's look at this two of swords. Now this has been the elephant in the room. So let's look, let's dig deeper into this two of swords. See what we can find here with the Two of Swords. Okay. Queen of Wands. So we have a, there, there you are, Satch. I mean, honestly, Queen of Wands. And you're right over the top of the chariot. So you're probably the chariot, although who knows. But we have a Queen of Wands here, which is you, a feminine energy. Then we have a Queen of Cups here, which is interesting. And um, let's keep on going. Now you could have two people, both in feminine energies. And it doesn't mean that both of you are women. It means that both of you here are, are working to, um, working on internal, on internal strength. Um, but I'll get into these energies in a minute because I'm, I'm feeling some hesitation in talking before the, but before all the cards get out here. This Queen of Cups could be a part of the Queen of Wands as well. Because this is a, an emotional energy here. So I'm going to pull out, I was going to say, I'm going to pull out two more energies and they were already there. So moon, temperance. All right. Here is Sagittarius as well here with the temperance energy. And here is the queen of cups could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And here's a Pisces energy. So there could be, um, fire and water here. Okay, let's just get into this energy here. We have two people here, two energies. Okay, so one energy is a very passionate energy. Um, let me, okay, 
I'll go deeper into these with I'll go deeper into these energies here in just a minute. It looks like there's something here that is undiscovered or unknown with the moon. Um, information is is needing to come out. Both of these energies are wanting the information. Both of them are knowing that they're headed into a situation where the future is unknown. So they're doing what they can to bring details and to bring um, the situation into into the light but i i do feel like there is a sense here that the future is really unknown and i don't really see that as a terrible feeling i just i just um <clears throat> i think both of these people realize there's only so much truth we can find there's only so much evidence we have the rest of it is sort of in the future and and, and that's that, that that's what the moon is saying now there, the temperance energy is here too and i think that there is a um, a, a willingness to agree that there needs to be patience and compassion and kindness in this, that this could be somewhat of a complicated situation, and it may just take a little bit of time, that the future is unknown, that some of the details are unknown, even though that these unknown and patience and compassion kind of energies are here, I, I think that these two people, whether they're males or females, it does not matter. These two energies that are here are both here, um, to 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 find the truth of a situation and come to some sort of an agreement or to some, comes to some sort of a merger here. Um, and so let's go ahead and dig deeper now. Let's look at what the Queen of Wands has to say. What does the Queen of Wands have to say? What does the Queen of Wands have to say? What does the Queen of Wands have to say? Judgment. So there's been something that's happened here with the Queen of Wands. And then we have the Ten of Swords. All right, what does the Queen of Cups have to say? Justice energy with the Lover's energy. All right. And we also have the Eight of Pentacles that is flipped over like this. All right, let me get these cards so you can see them. So if we go into the Queen of Wands energy, now the Queen of Wands energy, um, when, we, when we're talking about this person's energy or this energy in general, um, there has been something that's happened here that's changed the situation. Now, the judgment energy sometimes can be a little bit more of a difficult energy. It's like a cleansing energy. It's like um, something had to be straightened out. Something had to be fixed. Some Something, there was a situation that it was, there was something out of balance in it. And whether the universe came in and corrected it or a decision was made that corrected it, or maybe... Um, it, the situation got out of control and then it, it corrected itself just organically. Whatever happened, sometimes the judgment energy can sting just a little bit. It can hurt just a little bit. Um, it doesn't always have to, but sometimes it can. Um, it does usually um, affect the ego. It affects our defensiveness. It defends. It, it affects how we think about ourselves. And, and it could make us feel a little defensive or it could even hurt our feelings. It could really hurt our feelings, like maybe it wasn't fair. Those The judgment energy doesn't always have to be like that, but it is next to the Ten of Swords. So uh, whatever has happened here has really released the Queen of Wands. So there's been a situation where, whether it's stung or not, the Queen of Wands has been, the Queen of Wands has been released from something. Um, I think this has been very difficult for the Queen of Wands energy. Uh, it could have left the Queen of Wands very confused because, look, we have the King of Swords here and the Swords, so... Um, this could have been something that could have really created torment, a kind of torment and anguish for the Queen of Wands. And I don't think the Queen of Wands likes to really be confused. I, she, I think she really likes clarity because she's, she really wants to live from the, from the abdomen. Like she wants to live from, she wants to burst out with that energy. She wants to develop things. She wants to create. She wants to make change. She knows what she's good at and she knows what she likes to focus on. And I think mental and clarity and confusion, mental, in clarity, is that a word? Mental um, confusion, let's just say confusion is not a, a um, um, an experience that she enjoys necessarily because it stops her when she's confused, when there is a situation that's really heavy and dense and, and complicated and painful, it really stops her from doing what she really gets the most joy out of, which is creation and change and inspiration and 
um, being dramatic and doing something very um, powerful within her life or within the, the world around her. So whatever this was that came in here, it really cleansed her of a situation. And I think that there, there is something here that is, that is coming to an end. Now the 10 of swords, I mean, honestly, the 10 of swords, it can take a little while to get out of the 10 of swords. So sometimes, you know, like if a court makes a ruling, if you talk about the judgment energy, if a court makes, if, if a court of law makes a ruling, um, sometimes it can take a little while for, for the court of law to ever, to even look at the case, um, to make a, to make a, to make a decision. And then it takes some time for the decision to be put out into the, to the people for the decision to be implemented. And then it takes a little time for the consequences to fall into place. So sometimes the judgment energy can take a little while for it to happen. Not always, but sometimes it can. And it's, the, it, I think that this, this process of cleaning the situation, fixing the situation, solving the situation, Sagittarius could be somewhat painful just in the, in the process of, of getting a go. I just feel like there is a step, there's a process process of elimination process. There, there are steps to this. That's how I feel there. There's our steps. There's a process to getting through this and it could be frustrating for the queen of wands. Nevertheless, I, I feel like the queen of wands is moving forward because now something has been cleared. Now something has been opened up and I, I think it, allow, it allows forward movement. So if we move on now to, if we move on now to the queen of cups, remember this is this truth now that's coming out. That's where we started. That's where we got these two queens is this two of swords. Um, if we look at the, so I'm going to put this up here to, re, to help me remember. If we look at this queen of cups, um, she was clarified by justice energy and by the lover. So there is um, a an energy of partnership here, whether it's between men or women, the genders, please, please people, the genders do not matter here. We're, we're looking at the energy of these two people. Um, there is an uh, there is an acknowledgement here with the Queen of Cups, this emotional energy. Um, and, and again, you're going to have to decide, are you the Chariot or are you the Knight of Swords? You're going to have to decide, Sagittarius, which one is you, because that will help you determine um, which one of these queens are you, right? This Queen of Cups is a more emotional energy. Um, she could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, but she doesn't have to be. Um, she This energy is... <sighs> an energy that really looks inside and makes decisions for, um, for her own or his own, um, wellness and, and well-being, right? So there, there is a person here who has realized that there is a decision to be made or there is a choice to be made here. There is truth to be found, um, that will impact her health, that will impact her well-being, that will impact her, how she feels um, in her own vitality, how she feels in her own, um, in, in her own stability, in her own emotional stability. So there is a partnership here and there's some kind of decision, um, that is being made in the next seven to 10 days, um, uh, that she is focused on now is, it is having this, this fairness, is having this equality, is really making something more fair. So I think both of these energies are feeling like something is not right. And it needs to be resolved, whether it's a relationship between these two people that needs to be fixed or resolved, or whether it's a relationship that, or whether it's a situation that both of these energies are fixing a bigger situation. Maybe there's a situation at work, or maybe there's a situation within the community that these two energies are coming together now, um, and, and working to find the truth of, and to make some kind of resolution or a victory about. So I think this Queen of Cups is saying like something needs to be more fair, something needs to be reevaluated, and the, and I, I think this this energy here is saying like something is being depleted from me, right? Something is not fair for me. Whether this is a group, um, you know, if sorry, I just had this thought like this could even be a group of nurses that are coming forward saying, you know, I mean, I I need to make sure that my see it's hard to get away from the, from the situation that's going on around us, isn't it? And there's been an example that has just come through. And during this reading, I actually forgot about it for a moment. So it has just been brought through that this could even be a group of nurses or a nurse, or it doesn't have to be anybody in the medical field, or it doesn't even have to be anything that is going on with today's situation with the virus. But this is an example that came through. It could be a group of nurses here coming forward and saying, um, 
I know that we're partners in this situation. I know that I have a role here um, because it's a lover's energy. There's a partnership here, but I have to make sure that my well-being is taken into that's taken into consideration. I have if I'm not taking care of myself, if I'm not putting on my own oxygen mask, then how am I supposed to put on an oxygen mask on someone else? If I die, if I get sick, I am of no value. And so she's standing up there saying there needs to be something that's done here that creates a much more fair situation. That is a great example of the Queen of Cups. Now, that could be one person in your life. That could be you. That could be a group of people here that is a bigger energy, however that plays out. But that's a great, thank you. Thank you. That's a great example. So um, the King, the Queen of Wands now, um, you know, if you if you go into what she was saying, um, with the example, there, there could be something here with the Queen of Wands um, where there has been a, a really difficult decision. There could have been a lot of confusion. Um, if this was a group of people to match this group, um, there, there could be a, a new, there could be a little bit of a scolding here. Or there could be, this group of people would say, might even say, look, like we understand and we have this idea we have this idea that could be a change. Um, there is a new solution that's being that's being brought forward um, that we have we have come across, and we think it's going to be an end here to this difficulty that you've been in or that we've all been in. So it could be the Queen of Wands here coming up with this this change, right? It could be the Queen of Wands coming up with this change. So whether this is two individual people in your life, or whether it's you and a lover, or you and a spouse or you and a coworker or two energies working together, it, it seems like for me that the Queen of Cups energy is the energy that is saying there needs to be more equality, perhaps. Not it's not this is not going to resonate for everyone because I'm digging quite deep now. Right? I'm digging quite deep into this reading. Um, but and it could be the Queen of Wands saying, look, we have an idea or we have a solution or there's been a change. And I think that with this change, there will be an end to this difficulty. Right. So this is clarifying the two of swords. So I think that's I, I mean, I think I, I, I have it. I think we've got to the bottom of it. And all of a sudden the energy just went poof. <laughs> It just kind of came to the bottom of this. I mean, I think I got to the bottom of this energy source here. I just feel let's pull let's pull a card and see see what we get here. Just an overall energy. Page of Wands. New new energy. New youthfulness new action, feeling more passion, feeling like there is so, there is a solution here with the Page of Wands. New revitalization here. So it looks like something is going to be figured out here with this Two of Swords and these two energies that are moving together towards each other. Very exciting, Sagittarius. Very exciting energy. And I think it feels good. I think it feels like it's fresh in your you're finally moving forward, and there's finally something here that you can make a decision on with this King of Swords. All right, Sagittarius, I am going to move to the extended now. We're going to take this situation out a couple of months and see what this looks like for you. We'll look at the people who are around you. We'll dig into the energy of those people, and we'll look at how, what their perspective is of Sagittarius energy, of your energy, Sagittarius. We'll look and see what we can dig out of that as well. All right, my friends, thank you for being here. It's always a pleasure to read for you. I am going moving into the extended directly after this. If you feel satisfied with this reading, that makes me really happy. That's why I do this. If you would like more information, please move to the extended. Um, and um, and I, I wish you guys all the best. Wish you health and um, vitality. And I will see you back here on um, in YouTube in another seven days or so with another update for Sagittarius. Thanks very much, my friends. Thank you.